the testimony that I want to give had to do with the night that we dealt with the unloving spirit. Um, that was a pretty intense night for me. I knew it was going to kind of be bad, but I had no idea that I had that much stuff that was there. Um, but really, uh, what hit me was at the very end, you prayed about um, deep hurts and a broken heart. And growing up, I just had a succession of hurts. And I think unconsciously, it was always, well, God must not love me. God must not love me. That was the conclusion that I came to. Um, I don't think I ever did it consciously, but I also had a son. Um, and when he was five, he was diagnosed with cancer. And we did a lot of praying, we did a lot of believing, we even went down to Henry Wright's ministry, yeah, and had him prayed for, and he still died. And so that was my broken heart, and that really um, was the nail in the coffin for me that God loved me. I didn't stop believing in God, but I just thought his promises mm -hmm. and everything were for everybody else and not for me. Um, and so that happened uh, near the end of the prayer, and you said, you know, if there's anybody um, that, that still needs prayer to come forward, and you were praying for somebody else, so I was standing um, to the side, and then I don't know his name back there. Joe. Joe. Joe was standing next to me, and I turned to him, and I'm like, oh, look, you can pray for me. And he said, just a minute, you know, we pray in teams. And so he's calling to team members and was it your wife? So he finally gets his wife's attention and um, his wife comes forward and she said um, to me, she said, what do you need prayer for? And I said, well, I had deep hurts and a broken heart. And then I said, I had a son that died. And she looked at me and she said, well, I had a daughter who died too. And I mean, you can talk about coincidences, um, but that wasn't a coincidence to me. It was a divine appointment and it was God's way of saying to me, I've been there the whole time, you know, that I cared enough to just, he couldn't get anybody else's attention. And as a matter of fact, when his wife came up, he said, I'm going to let the heavy hitter pray for you, and I'll just, you know, intercede. And so um, it really cleared a lot for me. Um, there's been some other stuff that I could, could say, but that was huge. That was just huge. So, yay. Yay. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Free! Free!